What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the 365 Geek. And today we're talking about the Microsoft 365 Outlook Connector and Power Automate. And we're going to look at the action, which is Get Calendars V2. So this action allows you to just select and get the calendars that are currently attached to the account that you're looking at. So let's take a look at it. So I'm in my flow here. I've got a trigger, which is when an event is added, updated, or deleted, and that's going to trigger in my default calendar. And then click on New Step. And then if I expand this, on the second row, I've got the Office 365 Outlook Connector, also known as the Microsoft 365 Outlook Connector. The name keeps changing, which is loads of fun when you make videos about it. Um, and scroll down until we find uh, Get Calendar V2. So at this point, there are no additional steps required. So as soon as I say, okay, I want a calendar, it's just going to, it's just going to go off and it's going to get all the calendars. So I kind of mentioned this is, this is triggering against the account that's running the flow or the account that's kind of logged in and triggering this. So as I'm the one logged in, as it's my credentials, as I'm the one that's going to be running it, what it's going to do is it's going to throw off and it's going to get my calendars. So I can click on test. I'll say I'll perform the trigger action. Save and test. And what we'll do is we'll go uh, create an event in my other calendar. So click here, say this is a fantastic event. And hit save and go back to my flow. That should trigger my flow and then I should be able to uh, see it. So triggers the flow and this is the data that we get back. So we get back this, so there's one calendar in here called birthdays. And if I scroll down, the other object is called calendar. So that's my default calendar. We do get a few pieces of information in here. So um, we have things like uh, can edit, um, allowed online meetings provided uh, teams for business, uh, or default online meeting provided teams for business. Um, it's removable, the name of the person, so my maiden name, uh, and my address as well. So we get this information. Now we can use this in, in a couple of different ways. And one of the, the things that we've just we've just covered in these videos is uh, the get views from a calendar. So uh, get calendar view of events is the one we just covered last time. So if we choose this and then we choose the output of get calendars, what we can actually do is just say, right, okay, look at all my calendars, loop through and then bring them all uh, and bring all these calendar events back to me. So in the calendar ID, if I go to add custom item, I can add some dynamic content and say, right, I want the value ID. So that's going to be the ID of the calendar itself. That's going to be the ID. And then instantly Power Automate puts a loop around it, puts an apply to each on it so that we know, right, okay, there's going to be maybe one or more records. Um, so we need to be able to cater for this and therefore we have this applied to each. Go back into the action and again, go back to custom item and again, go and add that value ID in here. And then we get to see that switches to custom value. For start time, uh, we're gonna add an expression, so we'll say UTC now. Uh, and then the end time, we'll uh, add another expression, we'll use add days, and we'll do UTC now, uh, add in four days. So what this is going to do is we're going to trigger the, trigger the flow going to look at and find all the calendars in my Office 365 Outlook or my Microsoft 365 Outlook. Then it's going to go off, it's going to loop through and get all my calendar events for those, both those calendars uh, for the next four days from now until four days in the future. So let's test this. So we'll click on test. I'm just going to run it from a previous uh, run flow because there's no need to create another event. I'm going to hit save and test. We see the flow is running. Uh, we have some green ticks, hopefully we get a green banner, there's a green banner, and we can see it's worked. So now let's find this first one, and this first one, the output is kind of a blank array, so we, we've, we don't have any data in here. So this is this will be my birthdays calendar that has nothing populated into it. If I click on next to loop through to the next one, we can see this one does have data, so the event to trigger a flow is in here, then this is a new event, the one that you just saw me create a few minutes ago. Uh, then we have the special meeting of the government, uh, which is the meeting tomorrow, uh, and then or the day after. So yeah, there's, there's a few different events in there. So what this allows you to do is just get those calendars. So it, it doesn't really get the things in the calendars, just more, hey, here's a calendar, 
here's an ID, here's some details about the calendar, and then you can do something with that. So you can, as I said, you know, loop through all your calendars, pull out everything and pull and, and you know put that in an email and send it to someone. You could have this filter so um, you can get all the calendars, but then you just want um, to filter it and say, okay, where the calendar equals this one uh, or, or this one, we want to do something special with it today. So there's loads of things you can do with this. So as always, I want to know what you guys use this for. So let me know in the comments down below. What do you use this for? Do you use it? Do you not use it? Is it useful? Uh, let me know. I'm always interested to learn what other people are using Power Automate for. If you enjoyed this video, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would be much appreciated. If you've not already, hit the subscribe button. I've just hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube, which is just insane. So thank you all for that. And I will see you next time.